And still ahead on Fox 5 News at 6 tonight, the case of a young girl accused of passing a fake $20 bill. After seeing this on Fox 5, it was just one of those situations where I felt you had an innocent little girl who was caught up in the system. Tonight, the efforts of a local attorney to get the case dropped. A defense attorney has stepped in to help the seventh grader accused of using counterfeit cash at her school. Alasia Williams' attorney says the felony forgery charge against the middle school student is outrageous. Fox Size Portia Bruner is live with reaction from the DeKalb County School Board. Portia? Well, defense attorney Jackie Patterson has handled a lot of high profile cases in his 20 years of practicing here in Metro Atlanta, but says he has never seen a case like this one. He says he was so frustrated. He reached out to the family to represent him, says he just can't understand why this why the school's district would turn this case over the, to the district attorney. But school officials here at school board headquarters say the evidence is there. The um, officer, she just kept drilling me about where did I get the money from? Alasia Williams' legal trouble started two weeks ago today. That's when the 13-year-old, who designed her own line of purses and wallets, used a $20 bill to buy ice cream at the cafeteria of DeKalb County's Freedom Middle School. School officials say she knowingly used counterfeit cash to make the purchase and charged the seventh grader with first-degree forgery. That's a felony punishable by up to two years in juvenile detention. The way that they were speaking, it's like they think that she made it before she went to school in the morning. Or maybe she has some type of workshop, fake money workshop in the back of the apartments or something. She could have gotten the money from the mall. She could have got it from her mom. She, it could another another student. We don't know. Former police officer turned defense attorney Jackie Patterson says he was outraged when he saw Alasia's story on Fox 5 last week. He met with the family Monday afternoon at his Buckhead office and is hoping to get the case dropped before the young seamstress and cheerleader goes to trial May 22nd. In order for her to be guilty of this offense, the state has to prove the crux of the case, which is that she knew that the money was counterfeit when she passed it on to someone else. A child this age, how would they know that money is counterfeit? Is there evidence that this child knowingly passed a fake $20 bill? Well, the principal made the determination at the school level that there was enough evidence to pass this on to the proper authorities. We've had a number of incidents where counterfeit bills were passed at the middle school in the cafeteria. So the principal made this determination based on the evidence of that day. Now, the spokesman for the school district said it would be inappropriate to discuss the evidence they say they have against the student, saying the case is now in the hands of the district attorney. I did speak to a woman who works with the district attorney's office. She says right now they're still investigating the case, and it's just too early to comment. That court date is scheduled for May 22nd. Reporting live outside DeKalb County School Board headquarters, Portia Bruner, Fox 5 News. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see the evidence because a felony forgery charge does seem like a lot. Yes, indeed. Portia, thanks.